These interesting little creatures are larvae of the common yellow jacket. We had an opportunity to study them up close when it became necessary to remove a yellow jacket nest above a doorway. Look carefully at the wall, the area right above the door, and you'll notice some insects flying in and out. These are yellow jackets. I've put on some protective equipment so I can go up to remove this wasp nest. It's in a dangerous location being so close to the door here. People are going to get stung. I sprayed the area around the entrance of the colony with a wasp and hornet spray, making it safer to dismantle the nest. Removing this large board reveals the colony. I'm going to remove the nest by cutting around it and collecting it in a basket. Now that we have this wasp nest, let's take it inside and take a look at the life cycle of a typical wasp, yellow jackets. As you can see, the nest proper is very much made out of a, a paper type material. The wasps collect wood fiber and actually produce a paper from it. Inside we have layers of cells containing eggs, larvae, and pupa. Wasp has a, a typical insect life cycle. These are pupa sealed in here. There's a larva just off the tip of my finger. We'll take this right apart and see if we can find some eggs. These are the, the larvae of the yellow jacket. They're very, very active, constantly moving and feeding. The adults bring them food. This is a, a capped cell and it has a pupa developing underneath it. Now eggs, I think if we look carefully in the bottoms of some of these cells, here's an egg right down in here. There's an egg there. I just set this one in the windowsill where we have lots of sunshine. Look carefully and you can see some eggs in the bottoms of the cells. It's large larva developing. Once the colony reaches a certain size, the yellow jackets start producing queens. And if you look at these uh, sealed cells that have pupa in them, these ones are a lot larger than these ones. These ones contain developing queens. The queen in a yellow jacket colony lays all the eggs. These developing queens will mate and create new colonies next year. I'm cutting the cap off of a sealed queen cell so I can remove a pupa. As you can see, legs, eyes, antenna, and body segments are forming. The yellow jacket undergoes complete metamorphosis, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Here we see three stages of larva development and a pupa. Adults start to emerge from the cell approximately 30 days after the egg was laid. This adult yellow jacket chews through the cell cap to release herself. Wasps have an interesting seasonal life cycle. At the end of the summer, newly hatched queens emerge from the colony and mate with male wasps. When winter arrives, all the workers and males perish, leaving the nest vacant. But the queens are able to hibernate through the winter, emerging in the spring to start new colonies. The cycle continues.
To learn more about the plants and animals in your community, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.